phone footage going viral from New Jersey. It shows these two teenagers fighting in a mall, but it's the police response to that fight that's gaining national attention today. One of the teens involved in the fight is black. The other is white Latino. And the footage shows two officers restraining and handcuffing the black teenager while the white looking teenager is essentially left alone. Jay Dow from our New York City station spoke to one of the teens involved about exactly what happened. This is a scene repeated all across the country. Teens fighting in a mall. In this case, last weekend at Bridgewater Commons in Somerset County, New Jersey. But what makes this scuffle stand out is how the two responding police officers broke up the fight. First off, it took the Bridgewater cops almost 20 seconds to get to the fight location. There they are at the top of your screen, running toward the two fighting teens. One of them black, the other appears to be white, but we have since confirmed he is Latino. We are pointing out this timeline because the boys were already full on fighting on the ground with the white looking teen on top of the black teen. By by the time the officers arrived on the scene. Then you see both officers forcibly yank the white looking teen away as the boys are still fighting. But the female officer chose to sit the white looking teen down on the couch while her male partner immediately tackled the black teen who was already on his back before the officer handcuffed him still on the ground. The female officer then walked away from the white looking teen who was not cuffed so she could assist her partner and then placed her knee over the black teen's neck. It was wrong, and I knew that there was going to be problems when they did that. Uh, I, Why? Because uh, they didn't go for me. We found that teen, 15-year-old Joey, whose face we are not showing because of his age. He's the uh, teenager that was in the fight this weekend at the mall? Yes. It was wrong. I don't know how they handled that. Tuesday night, he told us, with his mother's permission, that he could not believe he wasn't also placed in cuffs. She said, stay put. That's all she said. I didn't understand why, if I'm being honest. I even offered to get handcuffed as well. We also spoke with Sienna Freidinger and her mother, Alicia, Tuesday. Sienna recorded that mall video and is friends with Joey, the white-looking teen. It wasn't fair because the... The black kid was the only one who was getting tackled, and both officers, like, laid on him. Joey could have gotten up and walked away. I was horrified. I, I couldn't believe that a mall fight turned into something like this. I couldn't believe that both the police officers were on that young man, that black young man, and nothing was done with the other young man. And it almost seemed to me like the white female officer was even saying to Joey, are you all right? Okay, that was, again, reporter Jay Dow. Now, we do want to give you the other side of this. The Bridgewater Township Police Department released a statement on Facebook calling for an internal affairs investigation, and the town's mayor also releasing a statement thanking the public for patience while this investigation is ongoing. The governor has also weighed in saying he is deeply disturbed by the video.